Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we have a kind of a special episode uh, taking place in my house. I actually have a sick pupperino on the couch that I'm taking care of. But, uh, we actually have a RC1 94cc for Minarelli that I got from the guys at Scooter Swap Shop. Uh, I won this in the raffle that they do every year. Uh, they actually did two raffles this year. Uh, I always buy at least one ticket and yeah, this time I won. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing video and show you guys what's inside the box. So, let's get into it. First of all, it's a big box, it's like 48 pounds. My t-shirt collection is getting pretty low. Alright, let's dig into this. So Brandon did say they did take this thing out of the box for a couple pictures, so... Lots of packaging material. First thing we see at the top, the crank. There's the part number there. We'll open that up in a second. We'll just set that off to the side. Something in this bubble wrap here. This looks like a silencer. it over here so silence here and bubble wrap we'll open that up later we'll do all of them at once for all the little stuff get all the big stuff out of the box next up this looks like in its original bubble wrap. We have the Melosi energy pump.
here's the 28 millimeter carburetor. Not too sure what that one is. Parafango. Maybe a hardware kit? I'm not sure. Oh, I bet you that's the rear fender, maybe. So under here, this feels almost like a kicker cover. Swap shops there. I believe that is the clutch. We'll find out in a minute. That might be the very Gear set. Another part of the gear set is primary, the other one was a secondary. That's the cylinder. Internal rotor for the ignition. More toolbox stickers. Oh, there's more. Another one there. There's so many. Then we have. The crankcase for Carter. Carter. And we got. Oh, dandy. Big old Polini sticker. I'll look good in the garage somewhere. So we got oh, it's an old can BWS thing. 
There's some a bunch of circlips for something. certain things like the kicker and yeah this is for the kickstart only deal with the rest of the box there you go that's it so that right there is an entire RC1 motor. So let's open up some of the smaller boxes and take a look at what we have there. start with inner rotor coils we have the digitronic Molosi ignition which is programmable the instruction booklet delightful stickers. I'll add those to my Molosi sticker pile. I'll move this over here. Then we also have the actual inner rotor kit. So it's a Select Selectra uh, rebranded with Molosi bear on it. Which is kind of weird, but just kind of from bouncing around in the box probably have the backing plate and the additional flywheel so you can bolt that on there to have a little more counterweight if you want to make it a little more streetable I guess would be the the idea behind that and then you have a bag of hardware and that's, that's all that So let's move on to the next box. So, next one up is the cylinder. Sporty. So, we have Inside the cylinder, we have the wrist pin, circlips, nice looking single rim piston. It only says Molosi in it. I don't know who the actual maker is, maybe Oso or one of those other Italian manufacturers. Then we 
have the MHR team piston or cylinder. Ring is inside the bore here at the top. And it's an A piston, which means that this is probably an A or A bore, which means that yeah, this is an A piston. So matched. Then we have two instruction booklets. More Melosi stickers. Even more Melosi stickers. A hardware kit. A small Allen key. The cylinder head cap and cylinder head. A set of studs. A water neck. And the wrist pin bearing. And that is that for that one as well. Next up we have the gear set. Booklet for gear set. More stickers. Got a clip for the axle to stop the gear. We have a straight tooth gear. I'm guessing this is primary. Yeah, primary. So that's where your clutch bell goes on, not tightens up. Piece goes into the act the outer housing to support the bearing and your gear set. Also done. Next up, we have the secondary. More stickers again. Secondary gear. So that's that guy done. Not too much in that one. Okay, next up, let's open this one, which says roller crankcase. Yeah, this is the trans cover. So you have the Melosi MHR trans cover. Melosi logo engraved in. Pretty nice machined looking piece. More stickers. And then two dowels and a seal. That's it. That's it for that one. Next up, over range. MHR rear pulley. Could open this up, but all it looks like is your typical MHR rear pulley. A couple of clutch sleeve or clutch 
spacing washers. Yeah, there might be something in that. No, there's nothing in the back. So that's pretty much it for that one. We have the Melosi belt. We have a tube of the Melosi 7.1 MRG grease. And there is a Melosi multivar uh, kit. It's got rollers, back plate sliding. Well, there's more rollers in there. And it's a complete variator with spring. So you've already seen the cover, but nice looking piece as well. Very well machined. Injection molding marks seem to say it's probably made in 2016. Yeah, very nice. Next up we have the complete Camba D Camba E free zone, whatever that is. Oh yeah, it was the clutch. So MHR wing bell and a delta clutch. I use one of these on my Dio. It's a pretty nice clutch. I don't really like the adjustment. You gotta take the whole clutch apart on it, but it does work pretty good. And then we also have the stickers and instructions. Let's check out this mystery one. It's very light. I feel like it might be like gaskets and O-rings and stuff, but that's what it says on the box. Melosi fender. So it would fit probably most Piaggios. Looks kind of like it. It's got the right mounting stuff. And it also comes with a bag of mounting hardware. Another Melosi sticker. And an instruction sheet. Next up, we have the carburetor. Carburetor and air filter combined. So, it's like a rubber velocity stack that kind of goes inside. Then we have the Melosi air filter. We have a Delorto VHST28. Pretty nice looking carb. More Melosi stickers. A X360 degree intake rubber boot. A couple of clamps. And an instruction booklet.
next up we have the Melosi Silencer. Nice looking cast end pieces. Extruded body, looks like. Some embossing. Decent anodizing on. Yeah. Looks cool. Ew, lots of metal flakes inside of it though. Definitely want to blow that out before you put it on your bike. Lots of metal flakes. Pretty nice looking welds. Never really understood why they do the whole super nice welds and then big gobby MIG welds to put on all the bracketry, but hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, very nice. Raised up logo on the back. Cool. Next up, we have the crankshaft. Inside the box is the water pump, oil pump drive. I assume water pump, there's probably no oil pump pickup on this case. More Melosi stickers. Another needle for the wrist pin. Nut, I'm guessing that's variator and instruction sheet number one. Supplementary instruction sheet. Oh, another nut, so they look the same. And the crankshaft. Very nice looking piece. Iron weighted. Rod looks pretty damn nice. All CNC machined on the outside. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Stuff is the energy pump. I don't think I really need to open that one because you can see inside, but it is the pump and a wiring harness for the pump and a sticker. And then, last but not least, the cases.
have the gasket set come for the whole motor. It's like head gaskets, shims to set your squish, uh, over or copper washers to seal up the head. This looks like exhaust bracket. Yeah. So you got your exhaust bracket made in a cast. And instructions. So many more Melosi stickers. Just tons. Got your silencer bracket. You have the springs for the exhaust, mounting hardware for the bracket. And next set of the box, we have the uh, exhaust flange. 4 bolt flange inside the packet. It's a little hard to see, so we'll take it out of the bag. We got some screws, the O ring for the back side, and the actual flange itself, which is looks like it's CNC'd. It's got an oval on one side. Next up we have the cover for the uh, kicker cover, PVT cover, whatever you want to say it. So yeah, there's just the filter, the actual cover itself, I'm guessing that's an intake port. A couple of alignments, or no, those are uh, bushings for the plastic and some screws and a set of instructions. Next to the box we have, it looks like case bolts, a whole bunch of them, a couple of alignment dowels. And digging deeper into the bag, this is, must be case accessory like bag, we have kickstart. Oh, that's heavy. Heavy duty. Steel kickstart. Kickstart spring. We have in the bag as well at the bottom. A couple of spacers and clips and another bolt. I'm assuming it's for the kickstart. Then we have the kicker. Typical scooter kicker cup. It's got the castle on one side and the spring clip on the other. The bevel spur on the bottom. Not a bad looking piece. And then you have your selector selector gear. Not selector, selector gear, selector gear. That's what your kicker drives off of. And the next bag. We 
have. This looks like, oh, okay. This is like a bunch of bits. Random bag. VL18, I believe. Maybe a 16. One or the other. It's got the rubber coating, metal backing plate, pretty big read. Another 360 degree intake boot. A dipstick for transmission oil. A couple of hose clamps. And the cover for the um, ignition. down there. So, oh, empty boy. Next up, we have another bag of accessories. You can kind of see inside, so I won't really open it up. But there's a cover for your X360 adjustable intake boots. Big circlet for probably bearing retention and maybe the final drive. Uh, we have an extra water neck. Miscellaneous hardware. There's the vent for your fuel pump, I believe, for the crankcase. Yeah, some miscellaneous hardware, another copper washer. Nothing too exciting in there, really. Next up, bearings and seals. So I'm guessing those are crank bearings. That's a bearing for the transmission. There's some seals for the crankcase and transmission. And that must be another bearing in the back there. There's a needle. I'll open this up. I believe that these are your crank bearings. On the variator side, I think this is the one. They use a tape or a roller now. Pretty neat. That's the ignition side. And then there's crank seals, I believe. That must be for the transmission believe that must also be for the transmission. And that must be as well. It's pretty neat. They're actually their own in-house Molosi bearing. Well, I assume they get them made for them, but it's a Molosi branded bearing. Actually, it's made by SKF. It's right there. Same as that guy. Then we just have a 18 by 28 by 7 seal, a 19 by 30 by 5, and the big boy is a 30 by 47 by 6. Next 
Next up, we have the axle or the wheel, Minarelli spline. Yet another instruction booklet with yet more stickers. This one gives you the full engine assembly, I believe, how to do it. So all this stuff. And now we will move on to the last piece of the puzzle. The case. Mineral clay, also known, uh, I don't know if that's silica, but yeah, desiccant bag. So, big intake port, pretty damn big. Very nice, nice machining, really nice casting as well. Even like the alignment of the case has is pretty damn spot on. All the machined bits look nice. <laughs> Interesting. Casted in China, designed by Malosi in Italy. <laughs> so is this one, th that's right, may have been cast in 2015? bearing upper yeah no oil pump drive obviously no water pump in these either actually And that's that. It's, that's the last box. So when you're all done taking apart your box from Melosi, a giant pile of stickers and ignition, a bunch of miscellaneous pizza pieces to put the motor together, cases, exhaust, gears, case cover, um, Transmission cover, water pump, clutch, cylinder, variator, fender, crankshaft, and carburetor, which I dropped on the floor. Then you'll also end up with a giant Melosi box and a giant pile of garbage. So I hope that was mostly enjoyable. Um, yeah, shout out to Scooter Swap Shop for doing the raffle they do every year. That's pretty dope that they give away a motor. Uh, still kind of lost and flabbergasted that I even won it. Um, but yeah, uh, check in soon. I'm probably gonna do another video where I put this thing together and show you a bit more of the inside and how it all goes together and stuff and then hell I might even throw it in a bike of some sort um, so yeah until next time